uh, now we will create an EGB uh, we'll first create a package for those EGBs and here I will create, I will call it user EGB because it will handle our database connection to our user table so we create the annotation persistence context called entity manager and we need to make this a beam and now we will create uh, some methods for our database so like the save method save user which will need a user method then we can just oh, we need to import this you can just say entity manager dot merge user so we call merge because merge will also save if it's not exist or it will update if there is already if the object is already stored in the database and now we create a delete method which is really the same, which I uh, just say entity manager dot remove user and no. and the third method we will add is list of users get all which will give a list of all the users back um, we need to import this as well so this is the first method which is a bit more complex than the others that's just one line code so we write query q entity manager dot create query and here we say select user from user user so this will just create a query where we select all the users all the user objects from the database get back a list of users and we can just return this list we need to say it's a list of users and get result list so this is all this will give us back uh, this will give us back a list of users which we will show on the website so I will just have a look on the error we get here class not found person out oh, there I forgot to put in an S and over here I forgot to choose so this was wrong spelled so now it's synchronized it's right we will now so now we have our connection manager and our entity we will need a manage bean as well call it user bean and it will be a managed bean which is mm, I make it a vacation scope because we don't need to think so much about life cycles now so here we will need uh, a method yeah uh, no, not a method uh, we, we need to get a setter for a variable so first we create an injection which will inject our user egb in our user bean and now uh, we need to import this so this will inject the user egb into our bean and to make this work we need to add a file called beans.xml in the web ins folder so this file just needs yeah, this file just needs to exist 
because otherwise Glassfish don't know how to handle the beans. He can't. Uh, oh, that was the wrong one. He needs this file to know there are beans, and then he checks for the annotations. You can also yeah define beans in this beans XML. That's the old method, but today you just make them with the annotations that makes the class much more readable and now you need to create a getter method for all the uh, for all the users which will return a list of users get all the users and this returns uh, the user egb dot get all method list now we need to do an import and this as well so this will return all the users uh, we'll just save this and we can go and add some things in our JSP so I guess we can let this here pull this down and what we'll add is an H data table which needs some more well properties the value property is uh, the data which will be shown, the data list, so this is our user bean dot all users which means you want to get the variable called all users and automatically the get all users method will be called so this method was the method we wrote and we need a variable which I call user in this variable I forgot to close this. Uh, in this variable, the single user from the list will be stored. So the table will run through all the users and put every thing, single one in the variable, ro uh, go through it, print a row with this user, and jump to the next one. So we need to create some columns. The first column will be the index column and we will need to put a header here the header is basically the column header and then we make an output box an output text which has value from the user dot id which is basically the field in the user entity this ID field and then we have the user name as well which get an extra column I will just copy this and call user name the name here so this is all we need to do for printing out the content of our database and now I will run this and as you see we have an index and an username there's nothing in it so it's empty we only see the headers what we will do now is we will create a button or we will use this button and add a function to it which calls our user bean and adds the user so we go in our user bean create a function called add and here we will create a new user also it's just a simple new user object put a username this username will be John Doe and then we save the user save user and now the user will be saved the site will be reloaded and it will print the user down here so I will just reload this site and click submit and you see there is John Doe added to the table if I would now click again submit it would crash because we uh, just added a unique index so John Doe can only be there once so I will add John Doe 2 and I guess we can add some more here I'll just put you the three 
turn three. Just to demonstrate that it's working as well. Reload the site. No, that's not what I wanted. So now I click submit and you see John Doe two three four working perfectly well. And this is how you can connect to a database. So I hope you understand it. If you have any questions, post a comment and I hope I see you soon.